I hope what I'm doing and all the hard work that I put in this thing is uh is gonna you know <laughs> hopefully pay some bills sooner or later and that's what I'm looking for and uh, if I can accomplish that and make people happy then uh, that makes it a great job because I can tell you right now when I get up and want to come to work I only feel like I'm at work. Yeah. We got another one like got hit by a car. <laughs> yeah, that shots. I know got hit, hit by a car. So getting crippled. <laughs> Oh, boy, boy. There you go, John. There you go. Yeah, there's a big hit. Yeah, I think it makes a pretty mount. Oh, there's a car. 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 If it grows out, this gear is still going to look good. Yeah. So at the end of the day, said and done, what we should have is uh, going from this right here to uh, uh, pretty much this right here. So get everything right here, and uh, you get everything right here. You know. Where'd you get this one at, Danny? Uh, Dad, the person in front of Dad hit it. Hit it with a car? Yeah. You kidding me? So we got some roadkill here, huh? But that's yeah. all right. Look at that broke his horn off too, didn't it? Uh -huh. Broke his leg too. Broke his leg. Poor old thing, man. Didn't go for it. Well, ain't no sense of wasting. We'll get him cleaned up and uh, get him processed, man. We'll make some burgers, steaks, all kind of stuff like that. Somebody's going to eat him, you know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Pull him off on the table right there. We'll uh, get him skinned up and get him in the coat. Around these parts, it don't matter if you hear this. holders out of this too like you put on your bookshelf mm -hmm. put them on some weights and uh, you know you know what I'm talking about mm -hmm. uh, with your dear feet and hold your book together you know what I mean slide your book together slide it together, have one on this side one on that side and, and uh, you know have your books in between it like that right there you see what I'm saying huh? yeah hold, hold and uh, I'm gonna groom it a little bit kind of put the hairs in place where I've been struggling with it you know what I mean yeah. Well, I've been messing with it. I'm just going to brush it a little bit, do a little grooming on it. Taxiderm is a lot about grooming, getting it groomed and getting it right. Right here where I sewed it, I'm going to pull them hairs up. See how I pull them up like mm -hmm. that? See that? See them threads disappear? Yeah. See that? I'm going to pull it right up just like that. I'm just going to position my feet and get them where I want it. Get them tucked in because if this thing dries up, you ain't going to move it. It's going to be right there where it is. I'm just going. Where's that? You won't have to do nothing else to the feet? Huh? You won't have to do anything else to the feet? Yep, you gotta do this right here. <laughs> <laughs> I said, suck it down in there. Mm -hmm. okay. yep. Suck it right on down in there so you can't, you can't see any of that stuff. Uh, I, this is what this is what it's gonna this is what it looks like when we get done with it and uh, we're hanging old rustic gun across that thing man huh that mm -hmm. look good won't it? huh put old granddaddy's mm -hmm. gun up there huh huh I like it granddaddy's gun <laughs> hey I tell you what old man told me a long time ago you find what you do you know, what you, you know if you ever find that find something that you do and you love it you're never working up there you like I don't feel like I'm working you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I have got to put this horn on this piece of driftwood here. Guy just wanted something simple. 
And uh, so I'm going to try to give you something a little simple. I uh, didn't want to put a whole lot of money into it. So we we'll see if we can't get it fixed up for it, make it look like something. Let's we'll see if I can't get this old snake skin. Old rattler, old pine rattler. Did I uh, come across we're going to see if, uh, if I can get it in here and kind of make it look like an old snake skin. An old snake done crawled up in this hole up behind this log and shed his skin. Old guy named Jeffro I'm doing this for. And uh, <laughs> there's a reason why they call him Jeffro too. I hang around with when somebody come in with some roadkill. I'll be right here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What do you got? Look, I told you I got a raccoon. He was on the side oh, of the road. Right. Look. Rest of the ball with it. No, you're not even stiff yet. Perfect. I want him mounted on my wall in the den. Hmm? Yeah, it's a little one. Johnny, well, I'll, I'll mount him, yeah. Well, mount him. Cool. Back up. It's got a rope that's going to outline the back. That's the, but I can do it all kind of ways. Now, 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 that one comes in a couple different positions. The other way is the eggs turn more looking behind him. The other one is looking more straight. That ain't got good. Right. Yeah, you really got nothing to show. <coughs> the back of them or not. I mean, there, hands on the wall, Here's an old fox squirrel we found on the road one morning. In the springtime, you'll find these a lot. They like to get out and, you know, it's mating season starts and they get out and start running the roads. People run over them at night, early in the mornings, and uh, we'll ride the roads a little bit in the morning, take them, take them aboard to school, see if we can't find a few. This is one we found. And uh, he was just laying in the road. Uh, he had to be, you know, just run over because we stopped picking him up, and that's the way you check him. He wasn't messed up, mashed up, or nothing. He was just laying there dead. And uh, we threw him in the back of the truck and brought him home and skinned him out. And, and we're going to uh, we'll mount him up and hang him in the office or something. <laughs> Big John come by with this one. Or Jonathan, you know, most people call him, but I call him Big John, Little John, depends on what day it is, I call him all kinds of stuff. But he picked this thing up this morning, coming in from a deer hunt after finding his eight point that he shot yesterday and brought it in today and on the way back he found this thing laid in the road dead. So we're gonna do some roadkill off with this bad boy right here. Now, uh, we got some rules when we get a roadkill. So if you're out there thinking about doing it, you might need to go by these because you could catch yourself in a situation. Uh, what you want to do is when you get out there, make sure there ain't no cars coming so you don't get run over. And then get to your animal, put the old leg up on this belly side right here where that nice pretty soft hair is. <laughs> and pull on a little bit. If it don't pull out in your hand, you got yourself a good kit. If it comes out in your hand, you wasn't getting the guard whole bucket, I'll tell you that. Now, if you decide uh, when you pull that hair out that uh, <laughs> you don't want to get out of town as quick as possible, you could catch yourself in a situation. And what that situation would be is uh, you could have maggots done got to grow in there and get them on your hand. Uh, you could, I mean, I have actually pulled on before and the gut be busted open and just didn't know it <laughs> and uh, get some stuff coming out of there you don't want to get on you. And then you gotta ride in the back of the truck on the way home because your wife won't let you in the front. <laughs> How's that taxidermy doing, John? You think you're gonna be able to handle it? <laughs> Ain't as easy as it seems, though, is it? Huh? I've had people come out here and they see you working on something, see me working on something, you know. I'm like, that looks pretty easy. Here, try it. When they get down there and can't do it, I mean, you know, it's something you got to, you know, you got to know how it lays and how it goes on everything, you know what I mean? Yeah, you got yourself a nice one right there. Oh, yeah. Look at this one right here. <laughs> Look at this one right here. That's a good one, isn't it? <laughs> you already got that one at, don't you? Well, it's coming yeah, straight off the road right there. Straight off the road? Uh-huh. Road kill. We get a gun!